Okay, sixth grade, lesson 64. This is on classifying quadrilaterals. Do you remember what a quadrilateral is? It's the shape of four sides. Four sides, very good, okay. But did you know there are many different names that get even more specific and detailed? Like squares and like rectangles. Like square and rectangles. Well, those are just two that you've learned as you were growing up. There's actually four more. Okay, so draw these shapes on your paper with me. Two. Here, can you please move? Oh, thank you. Okay. Done. Okay, you're going to take really good notes on this, okay? Okay. This one is called um, a trap. Trapezium. That one's coming up next. Trapezium. Okay. Okay. And it's a four sided shape, but I want you to notice something. Are any of these sides parallel? Parallel means they line up perfectly side to side. No. This one's going like this, this one's going like this. There's no parallel. That's what a trapezium is. So, what helps me, I'm just going to put underneath that. No parallel. And the two L's in the middle kind of show you what parallel is. Okay. They're parallel. Okay. This one is, has two parallels. Is a trapezoid. And a trapezoid has two or one pair, however you want to say that. One pair parallel. Okay. One pair that's parallel. See, these two are parallel. These two are not. Okay, so one pair. Okay, this one, guess what it's called? Parallelogram. <laughs> because this ones are parallel and these ones are parallel. All of them are parallel. So two pairs, that one, let me write down what it's called. Parallelogram. And it's two pair that are parallel. You understand it so far? Mm hmm Okay. It's a diamond. Yes, it is a diamond. But they call it something else in math. A sideways square. Okay. Do you notice that they're parallel? Mm-hmm. But guess what else you notice that's different from this one? All the sides are equal. So this one's the same size as Wait, this one. It's so same size yeah, as no this way. one, same size as this one. Starts with an R and it's called a rhombus. Oh, that's not what I was thinking of. Okay. You've probably never heard of that word. A rhombus is that there are two parallels, two pair that are parallels, but they also have the same lengths and sides. So I'm gonna say uh, equal uh, sides. It is a parallelogram with equal sides. Do you need to write down that those notes? No. Parallelogram with equal sides? Yeah, I think you should. It's a parallelogram with equal sides, same length. Okay? okay. This one is just like you think it's going to be called. It's a rectangle. And a square. And a square. And let me explain to you what is different about each of those. A rectangle is a parallelogram, but has right angles. You see how they're perfect square angles? That's what makes this and this different. They're both parallelograms, because look, this is parallel and this is parallel. But what makes this a rectangle and this still a parallelogram, this makes it a rectangle is because it has a right angle, rectangle. Right angles, rectangles. <laughs> Got it? That's how I remember it. Okay. And so what separates or makes these different is you see how these don't have right angles? They're not perfect square angles. 
But these ones so are. So does a square. Yes, a square is a parallelogram plus a rectangle plus a rhombus. <laughs> because it has all equal sides. It's just like a rhombus. Which is a rhombus. It has all four perfect squares, like a rectangle, and it has so does four a rhombus, parallel sides, like a parallelogram. So but a, a rhombus, square is this, this, and this. But a rhombus has uh, all four sides, like a rectangle too, doesn't it? Huh? The rhombus is like a rectangle too, though. No, these are these are longer. Oh, sides. You kind of can't tell on this board, but it's more like this. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. So they're not right angles. Okay, you get the difference? Mm -hmm. You might want to write those notes down. I did. This is a rectangle with equal sides. So. Rectangle with equal sides. Okay? Anything else you wanted to ask about those? Mm -mm. Okay, so help me out with this, Eli. Is okay, answer this. Is the following statement true or false? All parallelograms are rectangles. I think it's false. It is false. Why? Because this is a parallelogram. And is it a rectangle? No. No. Very good. Is this a parallelogram? Yes. But is it a rectangle? No. no. Okay, so good job. All right, now draw a pair our last thing we have to do. Draw a pair of um, parallel lines. Okay, there's two parallel lines. Then draw another pair of parallel lines and these lines should intersect the first pair but not be perpendicular. Okay, now there are two words that you heard in that. Okay, so first of all these are parallel. Then you heard that they are supposed to intersect that means touch or go through. Kind of like cross. Okay. Equals cross. Okay? But they are not supposed to be perpendicular. What do you know what perpendicular means? Um, it forms a perfect square. Kind of like a rectangle. A perfect corner. Perfect corner. You might want to write down these terms. Perpendicular means a, it forms a perfect be. corner. That would be a perpendicular line okay they want me to come up with two more parallel lines that intersect this but guess what they want mm. they do not want the corners to be parallel so watch what I do I can either do this these are parallel lines or let's draw a different one over here these ones, That's what I was thought. These ones intersect. These are parallel and these are parallel. These are parallel and these are parallel. Now, what they want is two more parallel lines to intersect. Well, this one's intersect. And these ones intersect. But let's get more specific. They also do not know. They do not want a perpendicular perfect corner. They do not want it to be perpendicular. So it has to be the first one. So it has to be the first one. Good job. If they wanted it to be perfect, they told you to draw two parallel lines on top of this and to have perpendicular, you would have picked this one. It's like but because they didn't separate. want perpendicular, you choose this one. Got it? Mm hmm. All right. What does. What do you see right there? What shape? Uh, I hope that was ones that we just studied. Parallelogram? Parallelogram. Good job. Okay. That is lesson 64.